Hello, ladies and gentle beings, and welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Play Res Infinite. In the previous video, we had completed both Areas 1 and 2 of the Project K Network, and now we are about to head into Area 3, where we shall witness creation and the state of art. Maybe. Who knows? Area 3, log in! The, here's the fun thing about this game, and just the way that it's kind of made. Um, the whole premise of the gameplay, and the whole way that it kind of, like, integrates itself with the music and all that stuff, it's all kind of based around uh, something called synesthesia. Uh, or synesthesia. Which is a nifty little... Well, I, I don't know, nifty, it could be weird to some people, but uh, I find it interesting. But it's a neurological phenomena that occurs with certain individuals where they were... One sense can elicit certain responses from another. It's actually kind of interesting. So you got people who are able to uh, see sounds or, no or musical notes as colors... They can, they can see and taste sound, or feel things that they see, or... I, it's weird, and I don't think I can really describe it justice because I don't have it, but... This seems like a decent enough simulation, and I'd totally be uh, intrigued by someone who does have those traits about them, and how they would react to playing something like this, because it does. Uh... Like I said before, this is not just a game of sight and sound, but of mind and feeling, because in addition to the, uh, in, a, in addition to this, the music and the graphics kind of working together hand in hand, the controller is also, uh, rhythmically vibrating to the tune, uh, which actually gets progressively more intense as the game goes on. And it's even got a second mode where you can have other controllers vibrate as well. Uh so that other people can experience it with you. Um, in fact, there is even a peripheral release for the PlayStation 2 that uh, has become a little notorious for uh, abuse because of the whole vibrating thing and the shape that it was. Without getting into too, uh, without getting into any explicit details, it's just to say that some people took advantage of that because it was vibrating and all that wonderful jazz. It was only in Japan, too. Worked on the PS4 uh, and the PS2 in America, though, I believe. This game, is, this game has got such a groovy soundtrack. I love it. It actually did get a spiritual successor a couple years ago. I think it was in 2011, called Child of Eden. Um, it's cool, but I honestly like this a lot more if we're being honest with ourselves. Or at least if I'm being honest with myself. I thought it was better. Even if it does have some interesting scenes, like a space whale that transforms into a phoenix. Love it when the enemies actually drop spheres. Woo! I forgot how much stuff this level gives you. Let's go, go, go! Layer 7. Love the backgrounds. Okay, okay there you are. Okay. 
Whoa! The state of art. What would that be? What's what state is the most artistic? It keeps saying as I continue to destroy random weird eyeball spaceship things that are- Whoa! I really shouldn't have used that there. Oh my god, I am made out of retardonium. What is even exploding and shockwaving? You're not going to be able to defeat me in my meditative bubble. I think another thing that probably trips me out about this game, and replaying it again after so long, is that usually when I play it, at least on the 360, I usually go for the, uh the direct assault mode, which is something that you unlock by completing this mode. And I guess there are some modifiers to it, but in this one, it seems as though things scale a little bit more. I don't know if that's a tweak that this particular version has, or if it's always just been present, and I've just been too ignorant to notice it because I've always played it a specific way, but whatever. We're breaking laser. Oh! I saw that one coming too, but I wasn't sure how to kill it, because I was too busy focusing on these other lasers. I at least have one overdrive left, so if I do feel a little overwhelmed, I can resort to it. This next part usually tends to stress me out a little bit. Is this thing? It's like some sort of a silo from hell. Whoa! Oh, destroy everything that isn't good. Blow it all up! <laughs> they always feel like they're getting super, super close to you. Fortunately, as you blow up those things, less and less and less and less and less of them show up, so... That's always something to take comfort in. What is that purple guy? Wow. Did I get hit, or was that just really, really good timing? I think I got hit. Oh well. Gotta be careful and knock these things out before they start shooting missiles everywhere, because they will descend quickly and hit you in the face, and it will not be fun. Hit the core, hit the core, hit the core, hit the core, hit the core! Okay, this thing's almost gone. <laughs> I kind of like the do 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 do. Oh, come on! Yes. 
We did it. Here comes the boom. Here comes the explode. Here comes the blue, 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 boom. Boom. Area three, log out. Hells yeah. Analyzation 90%. Uh oh. Shoot down rate 94%. Support items. I screwed up a. Uh... The analyzation? Oh, damn it. Well, whatever. This isn't a perfect run. I just kind of want to show off the game more than anything else, so it's like, whatever. I still have my high score credential. I am content. I am content. <laughs> whatever. It's area 4. Where rock is sponge. Apparently, that's what the song is called. But really, it just reminds me more of Strong Bad Techno. I heard one of those techno songs once. You know, you gotta have the bass line that's all like... Doom, 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 doom. And then you've got uh, another noise that kind of comes in after a couple of bars of that's all like Doluntum, 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 Doluntum. And then you've got uh, another high pitched noise that comes in like a siren. And it's all like And then a little later you get like the obligatory sci-fi lyrics and it's all like The system is down. 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 I like Homestar Runner. Shut up. Don't judge me. Hey, a blue sphere. Oh, we want you. Oh, jeebus. We're lollygagging. Surprise attack coming from above! Techno chocolate! Dooch, 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 do, 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 Whoa! Hi there, bright, shiny missiles. Do this. I'm probably going to watch this later and realize where the cube that I missed was in Area 3 because that was just bad. Like I said, there's usually one. There's a couple that are actually really easy to miss. Listen to this. It sounds like a rave. This is easily my favorite level in the entire game, though. Oh! Give me my power back! Hells yeah. Yeah, if these things actually lock together, they become a lot harder to kill. 
whilst being more immediately in the way of your flight path, which makes it so that you can run into them and hurt. Layer 9. Ten. Here we go. Final stretch. Again, I love the, the whole architecture in the background going on. Oh! Take that, weird woo. Jesus. Oh, bright. This is up there with perfect dark night vision goggles, bright. Imagine this in VR. Actually, imagine the next part in VR. Here comes a freaking roller coaster! This is like the Death Star. If it was having a rave. And instead of shooting a torpedo into the exhaust port, you have to fight squares that can transform into things, including a dragon and a man. The system is down. The system is down. The system is down. The system is down. The, 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 the system is... Excuse me? Oh. Oh god. Oh Jesus. God, it's wheeling towards me. Wait, what? Oh, God, he's turned into a running man. The system will be down, yo. Like I said, this whole area is a roller coaster. Sometimes they're here and sometimes there's not, but oh, here we go. There are little places that you can shoot down, and if you open them, you can get through these areas and collect spheres and other power-ups that will be infinitely useful. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Oh my god. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Please, god, don't get hit. Oh god. Oof, you. God, it's howling at me. Oh. Use your overdrive and panic. Oh, I think it actually... Yes. Good things came from that. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, God, you're shooting little missiles at me. I sometimes don't remember seeing those missiles there, but... No, I got my meditative... I've got my zen state back! I can't lose it! Oh, I lost it. Oh my god! Well, it's, we kind of didn't kill it properly, but... It's still gone. Area 4. Log out. 
Analyzation 100%. Woohoo! Shoot down rate 92%. Blech. Support item collection 77%. Well, needless to say, we took that system down. Even if, uh, it was a little awkward at the end there. Yeah, this version is a little harder than I remember. But, uh, whatever. It's still awesome. And with that said, I do believe we are done for now. So, we've only got one area of the main game left, and man oh man, it's a bit of a doozy. And no, I don't want to change to VR mode. Ig gads, no. I don't have that cool shit. But yes. We're going to be going into Area 5 very shortly. What will happen there? Will we be able to find Eden and save her from herself? Find out next time on the next exciting episode of Let's Play Res Infinite. Take care.